All right, taking a look at business news now this morning. Some more news related to the data breach at Neiman Marcus. The New York Times is reporting that the retailer's computers were hacked as far back as July, but that the attack was not fully contained until Sunday. Neiman Marcus said it first learned about the breach in mid-December. The wait is over. China Mobile finally starts selling Apple's iPhone today. The launch could give Apple a needed boost in China, where it's been losing market share to rivals who offer cheaper options. We'll find out if the cold weather had any impact on new home construction. The Commerce Department releases December housing starts this morning. Estimates are for a slight pullback after November's surge. One economist says home construction will continue to rise in 2014. It would not surprise me at all if we saw single fam construction growing uh, 20, maybe 25 if we're lucky, albeit from, from a low base. So while the percentages are high, the total numbers aren't that big. Maybe it's 120,000 units. Investors will be closely watching today's economic and earnings report. We'll have more on that in a minute. But first, a look at Wall Street, which is signaling gains at the open. Stock futures are higher at this hour. The Dow starting the day at 16,417. The S&P 500 stands at 1845. The Nasdaq is at 4,218. In Asia, markets ending the day mostly lower. China's Shanghai index fell nearly 1% to a five-month low. European stocks are higher after better than expected retail sales data in the UK. And this programming note, our Ali Velshi will be reporting live from the World Economic Forum in Davos next week. You can check him out on Real Money every night at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on Al Jazeera America. Well, it is time again for companies to tell Wall Street how much money they made in the last three months. Think of quarterly earnings as a report card that tells investors how well a business is doing. Well, as Patricia Savga tells us, reading the economic tea leaves is not easy. The Federal Reserve's bond buying spree helped push interest rates down and stock prices to record highs last year as investors chased higher returns. But as the stimulus tide recedes, investors may have to be more discerning. Investors will need to see a strong turnaround on the fundamental side, particularly earnings, uh, to, uh, to, to validate the gains that we have seen in the market last year. Street watchers expect total earnings for the S&P 500 to be up nearly 9.9% this year, compared to 4.6% last year. How those earnings are generated, though, will be closely watched. Since the recovery, many firms have kept profits up by keeping costs down. This year, sales growth will be key, with revenues for the S&P expected to climb 2.5% compared to barely 1% for 2013. The expectation now is that as the economy ramps up to improve growth pace in 2014 and beyond, that will give companies the top line or revenue gains which will translate into double-digit earnings growth this year and next. Even if you're not invested in the stock market, keep in mind the corporate earnings are a barometer of the nation's economic health. Because when companies see more demand for their goods, it gives them more incentive to create jobs. I think the two sectors that you're going to see in 2014 uh, coming down the pike that's going to use have great economic growth and employment growth are going to be the tech sector and the energy sector. Some market watchers expect technology hardware firms such as chip makers to do well this year. I like in technology the uh, hardware area, some of the hardware type stuff from like the 90s that you saw great growth because you've seen a drop, uh, you've seen a, a winnowing in that industry. Energy plays are also being marked out for a strong performance. The build out of energy in the United States means the beneficiaries of supply do better. Transportation, truckers, and air. The people who are making the build out, industrial companies, pipelines. You go to the beneficiaries of more supply. But while most are expecting earnings growth to be on the plus side, Remember, last year's optimistic forecasts fell wide of the mark. The expectations have steadily been coming down for the last four to six quarters, and I think that trend will continue in 2014 as well. Patricia Sabka, Al Jazeera, New York. One big question about corporate earnings is how rising interest rates will affect results in 2014, particularly financial firms like banks. Strong profits from Bank of America did help send the S&P 500 to another record high on Wednesday. That came a day after J.P. Morgan and Wells Fargo reported better results than Wall Street expected. A mother reaches out to the stranger who sat next to her daughter on a flight. Why she wanted to track him down and thank him. 
Plus the winter festival that draws more than a million people each year for ice fishing. And system after system moving across the eastern half of the country, but the snow hasn't been piling up too much. I'll explain why coming up. And a live look at what's known as the crossroads of the world, Times Square, this Friday morning. Next time on The Stream. E-cigarettes are an unregulated $1.5 billion industry blamed for a surge in poison reports. We look at the facts behind the trend. The Stream, 730 Eastern on Al Jazeera America.